Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another new episode 3 video. So, I am a little ill right now, so my voice might feel a little different. Uh, today we are trying Outpost Infinity Siege, which is a space marine uh, hollow type of game. Hollow, hello, uh, whatever you say. So, right now I have not activated the mod and I'm playing it on 1080p with DLSS on quality and every other setting is on like high so this game does comes with the FSR 3 frame generation but uh, that's a mess which I will show you in a second but first let me uh, play with DLSS a little bit like you can feel the smoothness uh, like as it should be at 67-66 fps it is okay you might see a little uh, fps drop here and there that's because i'm popping some file into the same folder uh, with where the recording is being done so yeah mm, do not mind that uh, game is super stable but uh, it's gpu heavy like on rtx 2060 it's only giving like around 50 fps on dlss so if i activate the fsr 3 frame generation fsr 3 with that frame generation I have not tested anyone but uh, the frame rate will boost but uh, as you can see that the uh, frame time graphs is like uh, an earthquake chart uh, like there uh, you can see like uh, I don't know uh, New York City's buildings like distance view that's it's how it looking something like that uh, so yeah it's a mess uh, you won't be able to feel any smoothness after you activated the FSR 3 frame generation in this game so yeah we're gonna fix that so let's do that First, we will be needing this zip. You can find it on my Discord. Outpost Infinity Sage FSR 3. Then we are going to extract it to the desktop. So, in this folder, uh, you will find two types of files. One is for uh, the FSR 3 frame generation, and one will be for optional NVGX. So, in case if you face any crashing issue or can't see the DLSS in game, you will need to paste that optional NVGX and run that enable signature override. So yeah, let's uh, copy the rest of the files. Then we go to the installation directory. Oh, not here. Installation directory. Uh, after that, U01. Then binaries. Then Win64. And where the Win64 shipping is located, we're gonna paste it here. Now for MD GPUs, we're gonna run the game once and edit the FSR to FSR 3 config. So follow me. Open the game. Close the CMD. Now FSR to FSR 3 config will appear. We need to edit it with notepad so after opening it with notepad we're gonna make the fake nvidia gpu false uh, delete the false and make it true now we're gonna click on file and save we're gonna close the text file and run the game as normal from the desktop shortcut or uh, the in-game shortcut whichever we like Uh, so yeah, we are back in the game. Frame rate is still the same. So to activate the frame generation and smoothness, we're gonna need to go to setting, then video, then from MDFSR. Uh, it already has frame generation on, but the frame generation is not working because we have modded the DLSS to use the frame generation, not the FSR. We're gonna use the DLSS and then frame generation, then come back to the game, and there now it's very smooth. You can feel the smoothness in the video even like uh, it's very smooth and also look at the frame timing up it's way more stable than previous uh, it's still like flickering a little bit not flickering like uh, spiking a little bit but uh, it's way more smooth than previous so yeah this will be it uh, if this video helps you uh, you can subscribe to the channel and comment down below and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one